35 is von Willebrand's disease. Now, the clotting factors, you people should be able to go through the flow diagram. Factor 12, 12, 11, 11, 9, 9, 10, 10, 8, etc. And at the other end, you will be having the intrinsic mechanism. So these are very much important. I would like you to go through and then there will be a common part. One will prince disease is one of the factors that is important for the coagulation of blood. And when there is going to be a deficiency, it is called as one will prince disease. It is a bleeding disorder caused by a quantitative or a qualitative defect. Both are present. Now what happens, this is the endothelium. The endothelium is the cell wall, I'm sorry, the vessel wall. This is the endothelium and this is the subendothelial collagen. This will be containing the von Willebrand's factor. The platelets get adhered to it. After which you find that more and more platelets get attached. This is called as aggregation, for which again von Willebrand's factor is essential. The factors that are given over here are important. This is a very important diagram that you people can draw. These are the types of the von Willebrand's disease. Reduced quantity is here, then selective loss of high molecular weight kinogen, multimers are there, and 2B, abnormally high molecular weight multimers are removed by phagocytosis, and type 3 is supposed to be a quantitative deficiency. All the others can be qualitative. Now what happens will be spontaneous bleeding, excessive bleeding, menorrhagia, etc. Ultimately, there can be a hematoma formation and team arthrosis. This is a very important diagram. I think you people can draw this one. Endothelial cell. The platelet is very bland over here. This is from my book, one page. And then it becomes activated. Factor 8 is also essential. You find that this gets attached to the endothelium. The von Willebrand's factor is very active over here. And so once the coagulation cascade, it becomes active. 8, 80, etc. Thrombin is getting formed and fibrinogen to fibrin. And then in that meshwork of fibrin, the RBCs and platelets are getting formed. So von Willebrand's factor are found in the Webel pellet bodies of the endothelial cells. Pathogenesis is what I had explained so far. The lab diagnosis will be important. The in aggregation test. Bleeding time prolonged. APTT is abnormal. There is something called as acquired also that can happen in hypothyroidism and heart diseases. Treatment with desmopressin or plasma derived factor 8 and one Willebrand's factor. That brings us to the end of class number 35. The previous one was an important class. Kindly go through deliberately.